Hi folks, um, this video is all about just the number one, the number one tip to playing fretless bass guitar, especially if you are switching from fretted instrument onto fretless. Now as you can see, this uh, acoustic electric fretless bass has a bare neck fingerboard. There are no fret markings on it. Um, so therefore, you don't play it with your eye, you play it by feel and with your ear, to a large extent. Obviously you, you can play it with your eye a bit. Now, you see many people playing fretless with markers on the neck, but be that as it may, the number one trick is when you play on a fretted instrument, you can you can get away with it. People playing doing a a basic bass player's job in your average band can as long as this they've got the your finger reasonably placed between the two frets ideally just behind the fret, you get an accurate note. Whereas, um, so uh, on a fretless it, it's quite different. On a fretted bass you see people playing, sometimes, not everyone, but you can get away with having your hand, your left hand, like a bunch of bananas as though your fingers are all stuck together and do things like this. You see how my hand is of the fingers and everything, all kinds of bad habits, but on a fretted instrument you can get away with it to some extent. On a fretless you cannot because your fingertip has to produce an accurate note. So my number one tip for playing fretless is just this. When you're playing your fretted instrument don't have your hand like a bunch of bananas a finger for each fret. You can reach four frets with your four fingers. And in order to do that accurately, you need to just drop your thumb down behind the neck and then have it positioned roughly behind where about your second finger is. Then spread your four fingers out, keeping your hand kind of square on to the board. Like that. Not like this, you know, all that stuff square on to the board. So therefore you can then have a finger for each fret position. Now your, your finger on a fretless is going to have to go exactly where the fret would have been on, on top of the fret as it were. So therefore you'll have even a bit more stretch to deal with there because you know you have to reach up right to each fret position as it were. So therefore hold your hand square on to the board and then adopt a approach like this. A major scale in A from this position. square on, finger for each fret. If you have a fretted instrument, practice adopting that hand position and use a finger for each fret. Thumb behind the neck, hand square on to the board, not like this, and then adopt a finger for each fret position. You'll soon get used to the spread of your hand on a fretless so that the notes will fall under your hand because you just you start out in a particular hand position and then if you you get used to the spread of your fingers and your notes will fall in the right place
number one thing and even on a fretted base, fretless base, sorry, with no markers, you can find your hand position, just, just go, your hand position for a particular uh, key or position you want to play in. And then if you adopt that hand position, finger for each fret, your fingers will fall under where they're supposed to be. So I can go like G, A. fall in the right place. Okay? That's it. Go for it.